set up the Genie, Genie Minis and Pan Tilt Bracket on your slider. Remember when attaching the Pan Tilt Bracket to make sure that your starting position for the tilt axis is level. Connect the sync cable between the Genie and the Genie Mini. This is required in order to sync the two products together. Now connect the link cable to your camera and Genie Mini for triggering. Now turn your Genie on and start advertising on both the Genie Mini. Make sure you have Bluetooth turned on on your device and open up the Syrup Genie app. Now navigate to the connection screen. You will see three products appear in the connection screen of the app. Connect all three by tapping on each Genie. All devices will sync together automatically. Now navigate to the new time lapse setup screen. Here you will see the tracking, panning and tilting setup options. Firstly set your record time, play time and desired interval depending on your scene. Now enter the tracking parameter setup screen. Here you can set up the distance and direction you want the genie to travel along your track. You want to make sure you have the genie at the right end of the track you are going to start from. Then define the direction you want to travel. In this case, you can see on the linear plate that we want to travel in the minus minus direction. So change the symbol on the app to match. You can see on the app that everything is flipped around. So although I have the direction correct on the app, the linear motion graphic is backwards. I can just tap flip to change the linear motion graphic so it's facing the correct way. Now according to my setup, everything makes sense between the app and the track and I'm ready to set up all my movement parameters. Drag the start point to move the genie along the track to where you want to begin your time lapse. Now set your end point by dragging the other end to set the distance you want to travel along the track. You can also use the plus minus symbols to change the distance if you prefer. You can preview the movement in two ways. Tapping preview in the bottom left will show you a real time preview of the movement. This is the actual speed of the movement in your final compiled time lapse. Alternatively, you can simply drag the camera icon and it will drive at a predetermined speed to the end. Once at the end, you can adjust the end point to get it just right. Once you're happy, hit return home. Now head back and enter the panning setup screen. Set your start, movement and endpoint parameters just like you did in the tracking setup. The same preview functions apply. Next set up your tilting movement. You'll notice on the tilting setup that there is a red no go zone. Be sure not to set your start or endpoint too close to this area as it may cause your camera to drive into your setup. Again, the same preview functions apply. Navigate back to your time-lapse setup screen. Here you can preview your entire three axis movements at the same time by tapping the play symbol. This will show you a real-time preview of your three axis time-lapse movement. Once the preview has finished, you can go back into each axis and adjust the endpoints and parameters if required. This is important to make sure that your end frame is just right. Once you have it set, simply return home and hit record to begin your time lapse. For more tutorials, hit the question mark in the app or subscribe to our YouTube channel.